the biggest lie the devil ever told us, is that he doesn't exist. If he can trick us into believing he isn't real, he can convince you that there is no hell. If he can convince you that there is no hell, he can convince you there is no need to repent. If you don't need to repent, then you can sin all you want, with no repercussion. This is a lie. Do not fall for this lie, my brothers and sisters. Wake up, those of you that are sleeping. It's time to awaken everyone that has bought into the lie that Satan isn't real. Before we get into the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a like to help the content get spread to those who need to hear this message. There are organizations and religions that worship Satan. There are documentaries on the History Channel that call this the Satan Conspiracy. The forces behind the curtain want you to be deceived. These people would like you to think that Satan isn't to blame for all of the wicked and evil things that are happening in the world. Understand that this is foolish to think anything other than the truth. The devil is most certainly real. 1 Peter 5, 8 Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil walketh about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Be on your guard, for he is trying to kill you. The fall began with Satan, deceiving Eve into eating the forbidden fruit from the tree, and until this point, Adam and Eve had never sinned. Satan wanted to convince them to sin, and he was successful at it. And this act alone is responsible for the sin nature that has been passed on to us through the generations. You see, he hates us, and he is our adversary that wants to tempt us into sinning so we can be separated from God. Job 1, 6 through 12 now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them. The Lord said to Satan, From where have you come? Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro on the earth, and from walking up and down on it. And the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man who fears God and turns away from evil? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for no reason? Have you not put a hedge around him and his house and all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands and his possessions have increased in the land. But stretch out your hand and touch all that he has and he will curse you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your hand. Only against him do not stretch out your hand. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. This is one of many times Satan tempted God's followers. Jesus is tempted in the wilderness by Satan before starting his ministry. Matthew 4, 1 through 11. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, if you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down. For it is written, He will command His angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, It is also written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. 9. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him and angels came and attended him. So the question would be, why would anyone think that he isn't real when he is mentioned in the Bible numerous times? The answer would be simple. Sinful people love their sin. When someone is doing sinful things, they don't see what they do as doing wrong. For example, people in fornication don't see sexual immorality as a sin. Satan has convinced them to commit this sin and told them there is free grace. That once they have been saved, they can continue to do any sinful thing they choose to, and there will be no consequence because they are already saved. 
this isn't the case. When you accept the gift of salvation, you are filled with the Holy Spirit which convicts you of your sins and you will not be able to continue living a sinful life. You will turn away from your sin because you no longer get joy from sin. The argument can be made that if you still get full joy and no remorse from your sin, then are you really filled with the Holy Spirit? Now, Satan has been cast out of heaven because he wouldn't worship God. He wanted to be God and wanted his kingdom placed above God. Isaiah 14, 12 through 17. How you are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. How you are cut down to the ground, you who weakened the nations. For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the farthest sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet you shall be brought down to Sheol, to the lowest depths of the pit. Those who see you will gaze at you and consider you, saying, Is this the man who made the earth tremble, who shook kingdoms, who made the world as a wilderness and destroyed its cities, who did not open the house of his prisoner? When Satan was cast out of heaven, he took angels with him. These fallen angels are where demons come from. These demons answer to Satan and are here to torment believers. They want to destroy and kill. They work through false religions like New Age, Yoga, Voodoo, and other satanic religions. They mask themselves as good light bearers. There is only one truth and one light, and it is the Lord and Savior Jesus and the Word of God which is a light to your path. Unbelievers fall into this deception because Satan is seeking the weak and feeble of mind. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. You see, if you don't serve God, you are serving Satan. The most successful way Satan gets both believers and non-believers to fall into idol worship is by making you be selfish and worship what you want over God. Have you heard the saying, you do you? That is self-serving idol worship in the simplest form. He tricks you into believing you have a truth other than what God wrote for you. He attacks your identity and makes you think you can change the way you were created. This is you playing God, and it is an abomination. How arrogant would one have to be to think God makes mistakes with his creation? Satan is a liar. He wants you to use modern technology to sin against the Lord, and he has been extremely successful in recent years. There are authors of books that tell you that Satan isn't such a bad guy and that you can become a god yourself. These are workers of the enemy and are indoctrinating the people to follow the wolf in sheep's clothing. The blind are following after someone they can't recognize for who they truly are. Satan has clearly been defeated in the book of Revelation. He does not win the final battle of good and evil. Revelation 12, 7 through 9, and war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon and the dragon and his angels fought, but they did not prevail, nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. So the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old, Khaled the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. He was cast to the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. You see, this is the future for Satan. When you find yourself under attack from him, all you need to do is remind him of the victory Jesus has over him and where his eternity will be spent. We have victory over the devil through Christ Jesus. We have victory over demons that seek to ruin you in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not have a spirit of fear, but be strong in the face of the adversary. Revelation 20.10 And the devil who had deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur where the beast and the false prophet were, and they will be tormented day and night, forever and ever. This verse tells us without a doubt where the enemy will spend eternity. Throw this in his face, and he will have no power over you. Do not let spirits deceive you. They can shape shift and appear as anything they need to in order to trick you. Bar John 4, 1 Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, for many false prophets have gone out into the world. You see, false prophets, mediums, and witches all operate in the demonic realm. 
they are not working with God. They are communicating with demons, and that's why they sound like they know what they are talking about. This is why you need a spirit of discernment to help you determine who you are following. 2 Corinthians 11.14 And no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So many cultures have fallen victim to Satan. Mythology is full of demons and the worship of false gods. Each of the gods are demons, and each of the demigods are demons that had children with humans. This is wicked and evil and worshipped by the culture. Hollywood has been normalizing demons in young adult films that romanticize of vampires and demons and mermaids and witches. This is all part of Satan's demonic plan to enslave as many people as possible. The Greek god Dionysus is the god of religious ecstasy and theater, insanity and ritual madness. This is the demon behind Hollywood and the film industry. The industry is being used to push a demonic agenda. Be careful what you indulge in. It is an open door to demonic attack. My friends, the enemy is very real. The deception runs deep. The way Satan operates is so demonic that it just sounds absurd and therefore it is easy to cast aside as false. This would be a grave mistake on your behalf. Don't let the enemy rock you to sleep. You are the bait and are the one under attack. Stay alert, wake up sleeper. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word, which is the unadulterated truth from the Holy Spirit. The word is truth and doesn't change. You are good and are the same today, yesterday and forever. Studying the word and gaining wisdom from it helps me to stay alert when the enemy tries to attack. Thank you for your guidance, Lord. Help me to stay woke to the tricks the devil tries to play. Help me to spread the truth and the good news to those that are falling for this deception. There are so many testimonies out there that serve as whistleblowing at its finest. These testimonies of being servants of Satan need to be taken seriously if we are to understand the way the enemy seeks us out. We have the power of the name of Jesus and the blood shed for our sins to be forgiven so we don't have to go to hell for our sin. Help us be strong to help the lost see that they are choosing to spend their eternity burning in the lake of fire with Satan. Forever is beyond comprehension. A human life is but a vapor and is a short time compared to eternity. Thank you for saving me, Father. I once was lost, but now I am found, and it is all thanks to your grace and mercy. Help this video be a beacon of hope for anyone under demonic attack and battling spiritual forces to watch this and call on the name of Jesus to save them. There is so much power in his name. Thank you for discernment, Lord. It's in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If this video has encouraged you, please help to spread the message by leaving it with a thumbs up. This helps the content get spread to more viewers. If you feel the video has blessed you, please subscribe to the channel for more content. This is another way you can help the message reach one more. Leave any specific prayer request in the comments so we can unite over your needs as one body of believers. Thank you for watching. Join me in the next video. God bless.